Daniel Bleakley, one of my favorite journalists, has reported on a Tesla actually saving a man's life. Now, the Tesla vehicle drove this man to the hospital for 20 kilometers in autonomous mode. And what's truly remarkable about this story is the same exact thing actually happened eight years ago. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Guys, I hope you've had a great day. Uh, it is well, it's another weekend here. It's actually 12, 12, 10 a.m. here on a Friday night or a Saturday morning, whatever you want to call it. But I've just read this story and I thought, you know what? It's a good news story about how autonomous cars can, can really help us. Tesla Model Y running the latest full self-driving version 12 software, which is meant to be far, far better than previous versions. And a lot of people now believe, based on how good it is, that Tesla could actually get approval within the next 12 months for their full self-driving, as in robo-taxis could become a real thing within the next couple of years. I agree with them. Version 12 is working incredibly well. A lot of people are talking about this. I've seen at least 20 different videos of people going, wow, this look, look at this. This is way better than previous versions. Fortunately for this guy, he was running this latest version of Tesla's software, and he had full self-driving. His vehicle autonomously drove him to the hospital after he had a heart attack. My family, personally, my uncle died when I was on a school camp. He was on another school camp. He was a school teacher, same grade. He was teaching the same year level as me. He died in the shower on his school camp from a, from a heart attack. My grandfather died when my mum was seven from a heart attack. My dad, who's just, who's just left here today, who's been helping me look after the kids, um, he actually had a really bad heart attack. He basically had to be shocked with those things on his chest while he was in the hospital. Um, my grandfather on the other side, triple bypass, he had a heart attack as well. My family, the heart attacks on both sides are huge. So maybe I need full self-driving to try and, to prevent myself from, you know, just dying in the car. I mean, this is actually a legit thing. I, I never would have thought of this as being a safety feature, but it is. Max Paul Franklin, a producer based in North Carolina in the United States, posted the story on Twitter or X saying that the day after Tesla opened up one month full self-driving trials for all Tesla owners in the US, he had a severe dehydration and blood glucose level of 670 due to a malfunction with his insulin pump. He managed to make it to his Model Y, got inside and engaged full self-driving. So clearly this was a lot quicker than waiting for him to have an ambulance arrive to where he was. Without any intervention, the car skillfully navigated the 13 mile 20 kilometer journey from my home to the emergency room, offering to autonomously park it upon arrival and let me seek immediate medical attention, he said. Despite enduring a, a heart attack, he said it was a mild heart attack, he said I left the hospital with no restrictions on my exercise regimen, a testament to the swift and efficient response facilitated by the vehicle and the number one VA in America. So yeah, over the last few weeks, Tensor's full self-driving uh, version 12.3.3. There's probably a new upgrade by the time you're watching this video because Tesla have been doing upgrades now every few days. It's been it's been staggeringly good. Full self-driving testers are saying that they are now experiencing zero interventions during long and complex drives throughout city streets, um, highways, doing turns that the car previously couldn't do. It's all of a sudden gotten to a whole new level. Whatever the hell Tesla did, it's working. One of the things they did is Elon Musk said they are no longer compute constrained. He said that about a month ago. No longer being compute constrained means that they can basically upload a lot more data so that the system, the neural nets can be trained much faster. I think that's fantastic. And whatever, whatever, whatever happened, I don't think we understand the exact details, but it's clearly working because all of a sudden full self-driving is legit. People are not mocking it anymore. Uh, there's numerous websites, EV websites, who would always write hit pieces on full self-driving. And some of them were probably relevant and cred creditable, but now they can't really do that because it's working so incredibly well. Now you might be thinking, uh, what was I talking about at the start of this video? Well, the Tesla Model X driver, he was semi-conscious. Um, he had autopilot. And actually, <laughs> this is quite a story because this was eight years ago. On the 26th of July, 2016, Joshua Neely was driving his weak old Tesla Model X electric vehicle near his home. In fact, he was going from work to home in Missouri. 
He began to suffer sudden chest pains that he said was like a steel pole being stabbed through his chest. He called his wife and he agreed to go to the nearest emergency room, believing it would be faster than waiting for an ambulance. He programmed the destination into his Tesla's autopilot beta software. Um, he says he doesn't remember the majority of the trip. The car navigated 20 miles of highway for him and it drove him to the, the hospital. I mean, quite a remarkable story. Now, apparently by the time he left the highway and there was a, a short distance from there to the hospital, he disengaged autopilot. But the fact that it drove 20 miles for him without him needing to do anything while he was having this heart attack was quite remarkable. And the fact that that happened in 2016 shows to get from the point of having um, autopilot that works not that well, but well enough to get this guy, drive this guy 20 miles on the highway, to get to now was eight years. And 10, and Tesla was saying they're gonna be, where they will have spent $10 billion by the end of this year on full self-driving. $10 billion, a hell of a lot of work. It shows you just how hard those edge cases truly are, but it's still quite remarkable that this happened eight years ago in a similar way. Except the difference was that when this happened a few days ago, the car was able to navigate through complex scenarios and actually drive itself into the hospital parking lot. It was a, a different scenario. So yes, full self-driving is far better than what it was in 2016. But it's still kind of interesting, right, that this happened eight years ago as well.